Life size, the real inimitable thing, the genuine vintage article, which you could say started that craze for old fire engines. A Rolls Royce Silver Ghost, nearly 60 years old. The man underneath it isn't mending it, he's just curious. He's not a mechanic, but he's getting to know this car inside and out for a special reason. Ken Rush and his wife Jean are snapping up the most elaborative notes on every exclusively engineered niche of this famous old car, a job that's an essential part of the vintage car craze. Even the most obviously illustrious accoutrement becomes part of a long list of statistics and specifications. Inside, the cast iron pistons that drove the car out of the Derby Works on May the 3rd, 1910, and halfway round the world since. The Rolls is the subject of a profile, an exact and exacting catalogue of facts and figures aimed at anyone nostalgic enough to trace their steps back to the good old red flag days. James Skinner owns the Rolls, a vintage car enthusiast who even calls his house Old Crockington. Ken Rush is in fact an artist, making an accurate dossier on this or any other car that may or may not be still going strong. The outcome of this most deliberate of delineations is a joy to model makers. People who can't bear to be without their motoring memories can use Ken Rush's profiles to build their own dream cars. Here in his London home, Mr. Rush collates every relevant or feasible detail and sets it down with the same kind of care and precision that was employed by the men who made the original car. So if Mr. Skinner, God forbid, should wrap his silver ghost round a tree, at least it will be preserved in vintage splendor on paper. Not all of the subjects are necessarily so splendid. The series of booklet profiles covers anything from 1935 Morris 8 to Spitfires and Hurricanes of the Second World War. You can make models of beautiful old cars, you can do